Lili Erstein. This is an old plant from a chili breeding program. It is the Cariolochia scorpion strain D, generation F1 after the back cross, individual number 9. It is a triple hybrid between Butiolochia, Carioca, and Trinidad scorpion Muruga red. Look at this tiny fruit and this comparatively big ones. Hmm, weird. Again, a bigger one, and these ones are more on the range of uh, how it looked in earlier years when this plant produced fruits. Many flowers per node, but they seem to have dropped off mostly so far. But the new growth is somewhat promising, and you can see new fruits are forming, and the flowers are standing in multiples per node. And another new fruit. So far, not a huge harvest, but it's a harvest. Let's pluck them all off. This fruit is the result of a cross-pollination of the Carolina Reaper chocolate and also this small one here which is about to change color. But I guess uh, this is an indication that the pollination didn't really work and I do not expect there to be many seeds inside these fruits, if any at all. Again, quite some variation in the fruits. The small one was even standing upright and the big ones hanging down. However, back in 2016, when I first grew this individual, most or all of the fruits were hanging down and about this size, like this three here. Well, and now for a quick taste test. I have selected uh, a fruit that is in the medium range of the fruits that were available and that is a little bit more rough on the surface. Perhaps it has more from the Butchilokia or the Trinidad Scorpio Muruga Red, but uh, I basically tasted this back then already. But um, let's just see. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's juicy, no habanero taste, the taste typical for the um, Cariolokia breeding line. Not very hot, it is it is hot, but slight burn. I, I guess not even a general habanero level of the heat. More like perhaps even in the area of Cayenne, I would guess. Just from the feel. Uh, a bit grassy. Not, um, perhaps the fruit wasn't completely ripe. So, hmm. I am doubtful about this breeding line. Um, this plant uh, almost became the, the big ancestor of our following generations, but uh, this honor uh, went to plant number two of the same generation, which was featured in an earlier video. Um, but I kept this plant around and for a few winters, but um, no, I don't think I will continue with this individual in my breeding program. But of course I will save the seeds from the cross with the Carolina Reaper chocolate nevertheless. Um, who knows, maybe I will change my mind later, which tends to happen. So yeah, but I, I guess yeah, you are out of the program. Sorry, but as Justin would put it, a few get lost along the way, yes, and that's unfortunate. I don't think it was ever easy.
but you can't let that get in the way of the dream. The dream of a small fruited super hot chili pepper.